Hello, I'm sorry to bother you, but do you have a moment to talk about our Lord and Savior, M. Night Shyamalan? Hey there, guys. My name is Tom, and welcome back to my movie channel, and thank you very much for joining me for this, my review of the brand new M. Night Shyamalan-directed movie, Knock. At the Cabin. Knock at the Cabin stars Dave Bautista, Rupert Grint, Ben Aldridge, uh, various other people, and it was directed by M. Night Shyamalan. This is a movie that is based on a book, and this is a non-spoiler review, so I will not be talking about spoilers in this video. If you guys have seen Knock at the Cabin, make sure you jump down in the comment section below and let me know what you thought of the movie so we can carry on the discussion right down there. If you haven't been here before, hit that subscribe button so you never miss out on my take on all things movie. So, knock at the cabin. Four strangers show up to a cabin in the woods. It is Tony Stark's cabin from Avengers Endgame. It's the same cabin. It's the same location. Really cool to see that. Uh, and a uh, two dads and their daughter are there um, at the cabin for a, a vacation. And they get in this situation where these four strangers have come to stop the end of the world by forcing this family to choose one of their own to die. That is the premise. That is not a spoiler. What did I think of this movie? This is a movie that I was interested in, but you know, M. Night Shyamalan doesn't have the greatest track record when it comes to his movies. There are a few that are really good. There are some that are just terrible. There are some that are just in between. Listen, I, I really liked this movie. I really did. The performances in this movie are insane. Dave Bautista has been a guy that, you know, a, being a wrestler turned actor, and he's always been a fun presence on screen. Up until recently, I haven't felt like he's been ready to be the lead of a movie. And in Knock at the Cabin, he is the lead of this film. He, by far, has to carry the most weight as far as dialogue is concerned and story is concerned. It's all on his shoulders, and those are some very big shoulders. So he's able to carry it, and he does a sensational job in this movie. This might be one of the best performances I've seen out of Dave Batista, and I like him in most movies he's in. But as far as pure acting is concerned, this might be the best that I've seen Dave Batista do. And then you have someone like Rupert Grint, who, you know, is really trying to break that Ronald Weasley stereotype that he's got, and he's really cool in this film as well. You have Ben Aldridge, who plays one of the dads. He is fan freaking tastic in this movie. Here's the thing about this film. It, it really comes down to, for me personally, it's the performances and it's the dialogue that are the main stars of this movie. It's not the overall movie as a whole that I found to be great. It's the dialogue and it is the um, the performances. Because without those two things, I feel like this movie could be very boring. And because it is a one location film, there is a lot of dialogue happening. And if scenes aren't played correctly and certain creative choices aren't made at the right time, this movie could have been a complete disaster because this film is basically, it is all dialogue. Like for the first big chunk of this movie, it's all dialogue. It's all conversation. And a lot of it is just a back and forth between the family and the four strangers. And M. Night Shyamalan does a really good job in this film of building tension just through dialogue and just through the way the camera pushes in or pulls out or moves slightly or pulls in and focus and out of focus. Like the way that the camera moves in this movie, and I've got to give it up for the cinematographer of this film as well, because those choices really elevated the film and, and prevented it from just being really kind of boring. Now, one of the things about this movie that I, I came to expect because it is an M. Night Shyamalan movie is the big twist at the end, because that's what we've come to expect for M. Night Shyamalan films. There really isn't a massive twist at the end of this movie, and I don't think that's a spoiler to say so. Um, I found the ending of this movie kind of a little bit predictable and a little bit, I'll say it, lackluster. Um, I'm not saying it was a, a horrible ending, it was a bad ending, it ruined the movie. I'm just saying I, I walked away feeling like maybe there was a better ending to the film than that. Um, and I did actually afterwards look up what the ending of the book was, and I don't think the answer is do the ending of the book. But by a certain point in the movie, you basically know how it ends. And you already go, okay, this, this is how the movie's going to end. And and the movie ended exactly that way. And um, so it, it kind of was predictable in that sense. Uh, but I don't want to bag on the movie too much for that, because 
overall, I thought it was a very well-made movie and it was very entertaining. Like, I wasn't bored at any point watching this film. And again, I come back to the writing, the dialogue, the performances. Again, Dave Bautista proving he can be the lead of a film. And there are some really, like heightened emotions obviously in a situation like this where these characters are in the actors do such a great job of playing off each other and feeding off each other like it's one of those movies that you watch that you just go yes this is what acting is like that these actors in this movie are chewing the fucking scenery to the point that there's no scenery left like they are just eating it alive And all I can say is well done M. Night Shyamalan, well done to the cast of this movie because I I think it worked and I really enjoyed this film overall. Let me know what you guys think of Knock in the Cabin, Knock at the Cabin, if you've seen it. Thank you very much for watching my review, guys. Look forward to more reviews coming soon. My name is Tom. Remember, if you haven't been here before, make sure you hit that subscribe button, ring that notifications bell so you never miss out on my take on all things movies. Once again, my name is Tom and I will see you guys next time.